there is a lot of rain out there right now, but soon those temps will ramp up and the ticks will return with a vengeance. The Ionia County Health Department says it's already seeing an increase in tick activity in our state. 24-hour News 8's Emily Leonard will put a number to how many cases we're actually seeing. Emily? So the reason we worry about ticks is because of the illnesses they carry, like Lyme disease. The State Department of Health and Human Services says the number of Lyme cases has jumped over the years. In 2015, there were 194 reported human cases. That number spiked to 221 in 2016. The most common tick in our state is the American dog tick. It goes with the name, but it's most commonly found on your furry friend. The one to look out for is the black-legged tick. Officials say they've typically targeted our state's west coast, and they're the ones responsible for transmitting Lyme disease. But now they've been spreading east, opening the door for more cases across the state. If all this tick talk is putting you on edge, there's ways to protect your family, and it may be things you're already doing. First, avoid the shady, moist areas with overgrown grass. If you have to go near brushy areas, wear long pants and check for ticks when you leave the area. The EPA has also put its stamp on a few repellents that should scare ticks away. Just be careful when you're spraying it on your kids. You can also create tick-free zones around your home by keeping the lawn mowed and getting rid of wood pine. If you do get bit by one, remove it right away. Then call your doctor if you start to get sick.